It's all boarded up now, but this is what the store owners woke up to Christmas morning. Their glass shattered with their cash register and donation jar stolen. Well, I definitely felt violated. Beyond the Christmas decorations along Woodburn Avenue, you'll find signs of crime. Ten cars have been broken into along with our store and another store down the street here. Argos, natural pet food and supply, one of the targets, with thieves taking off with their register and donation jar. I'm going to guess $2,000 somewhere in and around there, so you know, a substantial amount. I know times are tough right now, and I'm not sure what you needed this money so desperately for. Um, people are desperate out there, but just know that you took, um, you took funds that our customers were gracious enough to put in the donation jar, and there were a lot of funds in there, and to to, to go to animal rescue, which is really near and dear to my heart. The jar and register were found a few blocks away from the store, but the money was all gone. The thieves were not the only ones in the store at the time of the burglary. We always have adoptable cats here on the premises. One of them named Precious climbed out the window, but a neighbor found her outside and she was safely returned. What would have devastated me the most would have been if something had happened to one of those cats. Um, you know, money's money, but the to me, those cats are precious. While the investigation is ongoing, business will continue like normal with plans to open the next day. They hope to refill their donation jar and are asking customers for help. And, you know, we will live and learn from this. And um, we have a big supportive neighborhood uh, that will help us out. Um, but uh, we didn't lose that much and everyone is safe. So um, that's 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 at least everyone's safe and our adoptable cats uh, you know, didn't get lost. In East Walnut Hills, Kendria LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.